your man, Matthew. What's going on? I am madly in love with him. The Kardashians' new Hulu reality show. Will you be tuning in? Um, I won't be tuning in. <laughs> oh, you came to Celebrity Big Brother to win. And it just became like eighth grade on the playground and I was just getting like bullied. By a vote of four to zero, Shayna, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Shayna Mochler, freshly evicted from the celebrity Big Brother house. What the heck happened? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I think, you know, it was really challenging in there playing with some players because, um, you know, I'm a super fan uh, of the show and there were just some players in there that I've never played and I just don't think they really understood what was going on 90% of the time. You know, my head is still just like, sort of like blown from the, from the whole last like, you know, 48 hours of things. But I know you, Shayna, you're a fierce competitor. I know you came to Celebrity Big Brother to win. Uh, yes. Are there any feelings of like disappointment, bitterness? I'm definitely frustrated. And, um, you know, I knew when I was playing the game and I made that power move, you know, that I was really, you know, drawing a line in the sand. And I knew how Todrick and Misha played. So I was, you know, I told Cynthia and Carson like, hey, now that we have the power, now that we flip the house, I know they're gonna come for me. You know, please come and talk to me. Please come and like, if anything is said, and I just feel like I never was given that chance, you know? And then it just became like eighth grade on the playground and I was just getting like bullied and drew a line in the sand and I, I, I pulled you off the block and you're gonna send me home. It just was like, I couldn't wrap my brain around it. I still can't. <laughs> When you exited the Celebrity Big Brother house, yes. you had that one little final message for yeah. Todrick. <laughs> Don't worry, Todrick, I'll get the jury to vote against you. That's fine. Oh, damn. Don't be too hard on me now. I will. I will never vote for Todrick. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever vote. He will never get my jury vote. So you can all know, America, this, whoever is sitting next to Todrick will be getting my vote over him. Who do you feel the most betrayed by? Oh, Carson, for sure. I mean, I, you know, taking him off the block, I not only, you know, saved him, I saved Cynthia as well. But even maybe, I mean, Cynthia, I just don't feel like understands the game whatsoever or what she was even doing in the house. <laughs> I think she was definitely riding the coattails of Carson, but Carson definitely, you know, like I've done a TV show with him before and I at least thought he would at least give me the common courtesy of having a conversation with me, um, they wouldn't even talk to me. That's what was so mind blowing. Like I was like, no one will talk to me. Do you feel like you're owed an apology? Um, I think that would be appropriate. I didn't even get the opportunity to play in a veto and save myself. And I would never have done that to them. That's like a really dirty thing to do in this game. So looking back on this whole celebrity big brother experience, any regrets? Yes, keeping Carson on the block, taking Carson off the block. <laughs> it all know, goes if back I to hadn't Carson. done that, he would have went home. I still would have had Chris Kirkpatrick in the house and Cynthia probably would have been next. And then we possibly, depending on HOHs and vetoes, could have picked off, you know, Todd and Lamar and went to head to head with Misha and Todrick. So that's definitely a regret, but you know, I took my shot, I swang and I missed. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know if you've checked social media, Shayna, but everybody, no. you haven't checked social media. No, I have not. Oh my gosh, the fans are riled up on another level. Everyone really? is demanding <laughs> that you're voted America's favorite. I mean, what is that support and that reaction? Oh my God, you? to, you know, to hear that is very, um, makes me want to cry because, uh, I need that support after that experience. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but that, I mean, that's really cool to hear that people understand, you know, how I felt and uh, definitely feels nice. <laughs> you said that, you know, you think, you know, some people in the house just really had no idea what they were doing. And yeah. you as a super fan, I believe you said you've watched every season, you know, mm -hmm. everything about Big Brother. Yeah. Is there a chance that we could see Shayna Mochler on regular big brother like do you want to be thrown <laughs> into the trenches with the the real deal players i mean that would be very exciting and fun or if you know they ever had an all-star or something i think would be really fun to do now we got to see you and your pal lamar odom really bond in the house you even made a joke about a, a comment you made about his ex-wife you know 10 years ago on yeah TV. <laughs> not my finest have... moment <laughs> i went to do the wendy williams show she just asked me like oh are you going to attend Lamar and Chloe's wedding. I thought she said Kim, 
and I didn't like him. Right, right. And I was like, I'm not gonna go to that donkey's wedding. No. But the thing is, is like, I didn't even know Chloe. Did you and Lamar have a chance to like talk about that and, and your Kardashian connection? Um, I never told him about the comment heard all around the world on the Wendy Williams show. Um, it was not one of my proudest or finest moments. I'd like to pretend it never happened. So I, if he didn't mention it, I wasn't mentioning it. However, you know, he did share, you know, how he still, you know, cares very deeply for Chloe. And I thought those sentiments were like very sweet. And, you know, and he does know that my ex-husband is now engaged to a Kardashian as well so we did have the, that that sort of connection um but you know yeah he was he was just a nice person and um and he was he was a blast to play with yeah i think a lot of people expected commentary from you uh, about your ex and his new fiance but we didn't see that i mean what do you have to say about that um, I think people, you know, because of things that have happened in the press or comments that I have made, people think I'm um, really obsessed with the relationship or I'm bitter or I'm jealous and I'm just not, you know, I'm in a relationship and I'm really happy and, you know, it's just not something that is centered in my world. When you stood up on the show and you kind of like said your final piece, mm -hmm. um, one of the people you shouted out was your man. Matthew, you're so excited yes. to reunite. Yes. Matthew, I cannot wait to kiss your face tonight on Valentine's Day. What's going on? Have you been able to talk to him? Have you been able to see him? Yes, yeah. Um, he was the first person I saw when I came home and it was so amazing to see him, you know, being in that house. That was one of the things that got me through those those long days and nights was, you know, the moment I get to see him again, reunite with him. Look, I like to go to you before anybody else. You know, there are reports that you've unfollowed each other and that there's some some drama going on. Can you set the record straight? Um, sure. Right now, um, I haven't been on social media. I have had someone uh, running my social media for me, so I don't know what's going on there. But um, right now, um, everything is good and we're working on things and we're in a good space and we're just going to move forward and uh, see where things take us. Okay. So you and Matthew, you're on, you're still together. Things are good. Yes. At the moment. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> you know, yeah. when I spoke with you about a year ago, um, you and Matthew, I think we're sort of newly dating. So are we exchanging the L word? Are you guys living together? Yes, we definitely use the L word. You know, I think the institution of marriage is absolutely beautiful. And, you know, if it was the right fit, I would absolutely love to, um, you know, do that again. I would, I would walk down that aisle again, for sure. I think it would be beautiful. A year later, how do you feel about that? Um, I still I still feel the same way. Um, you know, I'm madly in love with him and he makes me so happy. And, you know, if that's something down the road he would ever want, that's something I definitely want. I believe in marriage. And I think, you know, um, no matter what's happened in your past, I don't think you should ever be afraid to fall in love again. So, um, you know, I definitely uh, believe in believe in that. That would be amazing. You know, he and I, we met and went right into quarantine and sort of lived like a married couple right away, you know, and, you know, that has definitely brought its challenges, but I think we've overcome them and, um, you know, and he's my best friend. Ati, Lando, Bama, I love you so much. What's going on with your kids? Have you spoken with them? How do they feel about this whole experience? They've uh, video called me and just, you know, said that they were really proud and things like that, but um, I haven't got a full chance to, uh, um, I've only been out for a day, so I just needed a moment to like decompress. But yeah, they, you know, they wrote me and said that they were proud of me. And so I can't wait to have a Sunday sauce with them and do pasta night and just reconnect and laugh about it. But it was definitely, you know, times in the house where I was like, I hope they're watching and I hope they're proud of me. And then look, just going back again to our conversation last year, you know, I was like, is there a chance that your, your kids could pop up maybe on the Kardashians' new Hulu reality show? If my kids wanted to participate, I'm all for it. Fast forward a year, it definitely seems like they've been there when the cameras have been there. What do you think about them being part of this process and, and will you be tuning in? Um, I won't be tuning in. <laughs> However, um, you know, I think it's fine if, you know, this is an opportunity that they want to be a part of. And, you know, my main concern is always, you know, my, my children are my first priority. And, you know, that's one thing that, you know, Travis and I, you know, do agree on. It's probably the only thing we agree on, but, you know, our children come first and their happiness. And as long as, you know, the Kardashians are good to my kids, you know, that's all that matters to me as a mom, you know, as long as they're happy and then, you know, that's, that's the key.